Hey folks, it's Patriot Nurse. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a super quick and easy electrolyte and oral rehydration solution. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. On Patriot Nurse channel, we talk about medical preparedness, politics as it relates thereto, and how you can live your best and most healthy life now. So what's going on that precipitates this video is there is a fresh bout of vomiting and diarrhea disease that is going around. And I wanna show you how to take care of your family at home and create a simple electrolyte solution, an oral rehydration solution that will serve you in getting your family rehydrated and in taking care of their needs. So before I show you how to mix this, and it's pretty straightforward, I wanna tell you why electrolytes are important and how it is that early intervention in rehydrating people who are losing fluid from either vomiting or diarrhea makes a huge difference in their overall outcomes. So we all have heard of things like Gatorade and Pedialyte, Powerade. These commercial preparations are available obviously at pharmacies and in grocery stores everywhere. But the reason why focusing on electrolyte replenishment and oral rehydration is so important. When a person loses fluids, particularly young children and also the elderly, when someone rapidly loses their fluid volume through either vomiting or diarrhea, it creates an entire cascade of effects that get people very sick very quickly, particularly children who are dealing with things like rotavirus, norovirus, the things that go around and the things that you've heard about making the rounds at your children's nursery school or daycare care. So in cases where the fluid volume is rapidly depleted, it puts an incredible amount of strain on the kidneys, but also on the entire circulatory system. When a person is losing fluids, they also are losing these valuable salts that are necessary for their body, particularly their heart, and also their nervous system to function appropriately. These electrolytes are sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, also chloride, and phosphorus. Those last two are the ones that are quickest really, or I should say they're the least quickest quick to go. The quickest ones to go are the sodium and the potassium. And so blessedly, we can address at least one of those with simple things we have in the kitchen. All you need in order to do this is salt, some type of salt. It doesn't matter which one. Sugar, a quart mason jar, and water. Now the water that's the gold standard is this guy right here distilled water. Distilled water is pure H2O through the steam distillation process. You're not getting anything else in there. No trace minerals, no chloride, no nada, nada, yada. You're just getting straight water. That's the gold standard. But I get that most people don't have that. And the point of this video is to make this easy for you. All you need with your quart size mason jar and a spoon, I guess I should have told you a spoon, but you can eyeball it too. You need one teaspoon of salt, one level teaspoon of salt. There you go. One level teaspoon of salt, drop it in. Six teaspoons of sugar. Now the sugar is doing a few different things in the body, but if you have ever spent lots of time throwing up, you know that it's like the Denise Austin hangover workout. <laughs> Especially if you're not hung over, like violent vomiting, that will get you sweating very, very quickly. So you're gonna put a total of six of these teaspoons in here, okay? And to that, to your simple solution, all you're gonna do is add water. So I've got my little hot pot here that's already got my water going. The reason why I'm picking a mason jar is that I it's tempered, so that way I can actually just put hot water in here and it's not gonna be an issue. So I'm gonna dispense my hot water, swirl this guy around, dissolve it. Now the thing is you don't have to fill the whole thing up with boiled water. That'd be ideal in a situation where you are not sure about the cleanliness of your water, but if that's not an issue, then you can just put enough boiling water in here to dissolve it so that the little particles are completely suspended in solution and you don't see them anymore. And then to that, because who wants to drink boiling hot water when they're feeling sick? Most people do not. To that, you're going to add regular water to fill up the rest of it. Excuse me while I fill up the rest of our quart-sized mason jar with it. That's all you have to do, friends. Now, the reason why I bring this up 
This is not going to deal with your potassium, okay? Because sugar doesn't have potassium in it. But this will deal with sodium and the chloride at a minimum. And in certain cases of various different diseases, particularly with cholera, the mortality rate associated with cholera can be dropped 90, per, 90 almost 95%. Some studies even show upwards of 99% just with simple oral rehydration. So wherever you are around the world, you can do this in an airplane. You can do this at your office space. You can do this at a friend's house and all they have is the simple staples of sugar and salt. You can do this in a hotel room. This is a simple electrolyte and oral rehydration solution that can go with you anywhere. And again, the recipe, very simple. One teaspoon of salt, six teaspoons of sugar, and a quart to a liter. Roughly, like they're about the same. A quart or a liter of water and dissolve the solution in here. Now we get to do the taste test. Are you ready? Here we go. It actually ain't half bad. <laughs> Look on my face. No, it ain't that bad. It really isn't. It, it To me, it tastes like Pedialyte with just a little bit less. Normally I can taste potassium, the potassium chloride. If you wanted to do a best practice and you want to put some potassium in here, you can get potassium chloride actually at the store. And it's the Morton salt alternative. It's in a little tiny, it looks like a, a little salt shaker, about yay big. And usually if you're at the grocery store, it's in the same aisle as the salt. And so it'll be the Morton salt alternative. You're gonna to have to look and verify the ingredients, but the ingredients will have potassium chloride. So if you wanna do an even better one, you can put some of the potassium chloride in there as well to give you both sodium and potassium. But this is super easy. It's an easy recipe. It goes with you anywhere and you can, create this from basically nothing from things that most people have as staples in their pantry anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for y'all. If you did enjoy the video, I hope you'll subscribe to me here on YouTube, Patriot Nurse. If you would like to learn more, you found this video helpful and you'd like to learn more and you'd want to train with me, I got a couple options for you. Online, you can take my online course. It's four hours. It's $129. You can find that link down below, the patriotnurseacademy.com. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to train with other people who are like-minded in a classroom, Room where you're learning from me and getting to know and network with people who are like-minded in your area, you need to come to class in person. So I've got my schedule up at the website, thepatriotnurse.com. I'm going to Jacksonville, Florida. That's the next class. And that's next month, Jacksonville, Florida. I'm also going to Kalispell, Montana, Denver, Colorado, Phoenix, Arizona. Going to be in Texas as well. And then uh, also should be in Milwaukee, and adding a Knoxville, Tennessee class also this year. So lots of options for you guys. If I didn't mention your location, check the website out still because you may find a location that's closest and convenient to you there. I hope you all have a very, very blessed weekend and I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please share it with friends who are like-minded and also to get people in your family prepared or maybe someone who's sick and needs this information. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. For now, it's Patriot Nurse signing off. And I'll see y'all later. Mwah. Bye.